Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot Ranked. I am recording this just on the heels of the previous episode where if you watched it, spoilers, we suffered a quite embarrassing 0-3 defeat. We lost all three battles is what I'm trying to say. And that last battle, victory was within our grasp, but I made a bad play and it cost me the game. So... I'm going to be stubborn. I'm not going to give it a rest. I'm not going to switch teams just yet. I want to give it one more try tonight before I decide to reevaluate my team. I want to get at least one win with this team because this team has been so good. Um, it's been so good at least in Battle Tree and in Wi-Fi battles, but in Battle Spot, I haven't been doing so hot. So let's go ahead and try. All right, we've got. A not full team at all. This is... Do I even count this? I mean, I guess it's fair game. I guess. This is weird. I don't... Uh, I, don't mm. I don't know what to do here. I'm a little... I'm a little thrown off. I feel like I shouldn't count this battle. I have to admit, though, I'm, I'm so desperate for a win that I might, I might need to, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to make of this first battle. Is this just here to boost my confidence? I don't know. Um, let's go Thunderbolt, I guess. Oh, the levels don't scale up either. See, I thought the levels scaled up in Battle Spot. I don't really want to count this, but Battle Spot is going to count it anyway. I I don't know what to make of this, guys. I don't have much to say. I'm just gonna just just gonna let it happen. I feel really bad, but it's it's a battle. I guess this is how low my ranking- my- this is how low my rating got, I guess. Just- just sit back and enjoy the music, I guess? I mean, a win is a win, even if it's really cheap. But I mean, Battle Spot is gonna count it as a win. Man. See, this is what happens when you lose three battles in a row. Battle Spot feels sorry for you. And they're like, alright. Alright. Alright, maybe you can win against people who aren't even, like, at level 50. I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. But, uh, it's. The game is gonna count it as a win. So, uh, hey, it is what it is. Alright, let's, um, I will say maybe I will do three battles in addition, since this one was less than three minutes, and let's bring back the Team Skull Boss music. Um, now our rating, I don't know, I, I didn't check what our rating was just a moment ago, but, <laughs> alright, let's see who we have this time. Oh boy, a Garchomp again. And this one's got three Pokemon that we have on our team. All right. All right, let's think. Predicting the Garchomp lead is something that maybe I should do. Maybe I should predict the Garchomp lead. I'm gonna lead, you know what? Hmm. I gotta have... I don't have a great answer for Toxapex, actually. Wait, let me check, let me check Quibbles. I did not use him at all in the last episode. I didn't use, um, safe space by Toxapex either. Hmm. Ho oh, hum, what do I do? I guess I predict a Ninetales lead. I mean, a Garchomp lead. Most likely not gonna be the case, because last time Garchomp led twice, so this time, of course it won't, now that I'll be prepared for it. Alright, 25 seconds left, let's see. I want Tapu Koko for the Toxapex, I guess? For the Toxapex and 
If we can outspeed the Garchomp, if it's not Scarf Chomp, maybe. Um, and the last one... Um, Tapu Koko can handle the Mimikyu, probably handle the Ninetales if we get matched up, can handle the Toxpec. Uh, let's go! Oh my gosh, I gotta pick someone! Mudsdale! Probably the wrong choice, because I had to make it in haste. But we'll see. Let's see if we can get lucky this time. And I mean, like, in a fair match. Not in that last match. That last match, I was sorry that I had to do it. But let's try to be less embarrassing than we were in the last episode. How about that, guys? Think we can do that? Alright, so we have a Ninetales versus Ninetales lead going on here. Interesting. It is a Snow Warning Ninetales, and I do not have Blizzard on mine because mine is not a Snow Warning Ninetales. Yet another reason, but I do have Snow Cloak, so... That could be nifty. Could be nifty to play around with. I'm just gonna click Moonblast and see what happens. Maybe we'll dodge something. It's gonna stay in. So we're gonna get a Ninetales versus Nine. We do some good damage to that. That is a two-shot right there. Gonna Encore me into Moonblast. I mean, now it knows what I'm gonna do, but hey. I can't really complain about being not locked into Moonblast. And we got Snow Cloak going on. I don't know, I think this is okay. I think we click Moonblast again, which I just did. If it stays in, we take it out. I can't imagine it'll stay in. It's gonna go into something, gonna go into Toxpex most likely. I suppose I could have predicted that and done the switch and yada yada yada. However, this... let's see how much this does. Eh. It does eh. Very much eh. We got the special attack drop, which is not super important against Toxapex, but it's something. It's gonna get buffeted by the hail. I almost want to stay in. Well, no, I need the Ninetales in case Garchomp shows up. So what do we do? What do we do? Is it going to go for Poison Tech? Is it going to try to poison us? Is it going to try to Toxic us? If it knows we're locked into Moonblast, it'll probably- it probably won't go for Baneful Bunker. Because it'll expect to switch? I don't know. I'm going to switch anyway. Bad choices. I make them sometimes. At least when it comes to Battle Spot. Okay, gonna Toxic. We did get a special attack drop on it. It's going to... Actually... It's going to get a guaranteed crit on us. So, my question is... My question is... I forget now with the crit... Does it ignore its special attack drop? I want to say it does. I know it ignores my defense boosts. I'm going to go for Earthquake anyway. Hope we can get an attack off. Going to go for Baneful Bunker. I expected that. I mean, I guess I should have expected that. It's not like it can poison us. It's just going to kind of stall, get some more hail and toxic damage off on us. Probably put us within range where it can knock us out. The only thing is, it's getting in more of a dangerous range as well. So, pretty much all I can do is click Earthquake and hope for the best. Unfortunately. Gonna withdraw and go into the Garchomp. Okay. We're not gonna do a whole lot to it, probably. Oh, it's a potential two-shot. Depending on whether that was a high roll or a low roll. Poison damage, toxic damage is racking up. I I say we stay in and see if we can get a KO. Otherwise, we worst case scenario, we get a clean switch in. Then again, this thing will probably outspeed me. It'll probably outspeed my Tapu Koko because... Probably will. Gonna go for Outrage. That's actually excellent. It's excellent because we just go into Ninetales knowing that it's locked in. We force it to switch out. It's got Life Orb. Duly noted. We can actually also switch into Tapu Koko. That might be better. I could get really zesty, as they say, and predict the Toxapex to come in and go for... go for Thunderbolt, but nah. Nah. 
I don't think so. I think we go Dazzling Gleam. Worst case scenario, we get good damage. Or uh, we get some damage off on the Toxapex. Still stab damage. Okay, so just gonna let the Garchomp go down. Well, at least it's a match this time, and not we're not getting 3-0'd. Good gravy. So, let's see. Who else did she bring? Alright, so gonna go Toxapex. Let me think. She didn't reveal her last Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's Ninetales. Alright, so we're safe to Thunderbolt, I guess. It'll probably Baneful Bunker this turn, just because, or not. Just gonna take the loss, maybe. I'm trying to think. I think we got this one. I think we have this one. Let's see. The match was forfeited. Well, it still counts. This team is somewhat redeeming itself. Excellent. Excellent. All right, won't save the video. All right, let's do one more battle. Let's see, and what do I want? Let's go back to Gladian. I haven't done the Gladian theme in too long, actually. All right, we got another one from Japan. Everybody from Japan is out and about tonight on Battle Spot. All right, we've got, oh boy, Gyarados, Golisopod. Tapu Koko definitely going to come in handy with these three water Pokemon on here. Um, we got the Nine Tails. I think Tapu Koko might be a good lead, but then there's the Garchomp. So I think... And you got a Tapu Koko too. So I'm going to go Nine Tails, Tapu Koko, and I need an answer to his Tapu Koko. Honestly, Incineroar might be the better one, but we got three water types and a ground type, so probably not. Let's see, let's see. Also, that ground type, probably no. Toxapex... Or Komala. Let's go Toxapex. For potential resistance against water there. Alright, let's see what happens. This will be game number three. Let's go game number three. Okay, so we got Cloyster first. I think I'm gonna go for Moonblast because this thing's special defense is low. I don't really wanna switch in on anything just yet. I kinda wanna scope things out and see what happens, so let's go for a Moonblast. Can't imagine it'll outspeed me. Got a Focus Sash. All right, what are we gonna do here then? Are you gonna Shell Smash? That's cute. I mean, it might have Ice Shard, but we have Ice Shard. So, we got you on this one. We so got you on this one. Let's go ahead, Ice Shard. All right, well, that's one down. Sorry that I'm a little quiet. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking. And I was also answering a, a question, a, pr a message there. All right, we've got Garchomp. Is it gonna outspeed us? I really hope not. 
Scarf Chomp could probably outspeed us. Should I go Ice Shard just in case? I'm gonna go Ice, Ice Shard just in case, because now he's throwing me off. He, she, maybe. I don't know. That does do more than half. It's got Iron Head. Alright, well, we might have been faster and might have been able to take it out, but that was a, it was a safer bet that way. At least we got damage on it. Um, gotta go Tapu Coco now. It's not, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be Scarfed. If it is Scarfed, he's not going to do that much to us, or he's going to switch out. And if he is Scarfed, or no, if he's not Scarfed, we better be faster than it, because we're a Tapu Coco. Moment of truth, here we go. Am, or am I just totally off? Does Tapu Coco not, not base outspeed Garchomp? I guess we won't know for sure, because it's going to withdraw and go into Golisopod. So man, if we had been real and clicked Thunderbolt, that would have been the best. Now, he can go for first impression, but we're going to resist it. So I say we Thunderbolt. Should have played the um, Guzma theme. Because we got Golisopod out here. I want to go back to using Golisopod. He was on my in-game team for Sun. Just, I, I can't get around that emergency exit ability. Is usually more trouble than it's worth. Alright, so that's, um... I guess that's two down, right? It's just the Garchomp left? Okay, this could still go either way. If he's faster than us... Is he faster than us? He might have been Scarfed, actually. He switched out. Yeah, we lose. Oh, we came so close. And we're gonna lose. We came so close. Well, who knows? Maybe we can tank. Maybe. 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 We can take one Earthquake from this thing. With our max defense. Maybe. I think we're max defense. I don't know. We're gonna Baneful Bunker anyway. Oh man. Leave it to me to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Alright, so good to know Scarf Chomp outspeeds Tapu Coco. Maybe I should scarf my Tapu Coco next time. Alright. Um. Hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Can we, like, live on one and then, like, crit? We live! On a decent amount! Okay, we're still in this game. Can we get the burn? If we can get the burn... We got the burn? Alright. Alright, come on. Come on, Toxapex. Alright, we're gonna Baneful Bunker. We're gonna Baneful Bunker. Gonna Baneful Bunker and get some more health back. Between that and the burn, we should be able to live another Earthquake. Provided we don't get the dreaded you-know-what. But we could have this game between that and the burn damage. I could be real and go for the double protect. But I think... No, no, the burn's not going to take it out. Burn was nerfed enough that it's not going to take it out. So I need to go for Scald and hope that I can live this. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Come on. Come on, safe space. Come on, safe space. That's his nickname, by the way. Come on, safe space. Come on, safe space. No crit, no crit, no crit. <gasps> Living on 12. Oh my gosh. Hashtag clutch safe space. All right, that is gonna be it, right? That was the last Pokemon? That was it, oh my gosh. Toxapex for the win. Getting that burn when we needed it most. This was amazing, all right, man. Okay, the first battle of this episode probably shouldn't have counted, but when you consider in the previous episode, we had three humiliating losses, and this time we had three victories. So we just basically canceled out the last episode. That was cool. Sure, let's save it. Because that was pretty cool. I mean, I have it's going to be online anyway. So, that was a cool battle. Alright guys, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm glad... I am glad that I went and recorded this video. So, I do think that next time I will have to try out a better team. I need some 
better answers for things like uh, Gyarados. I mean, Tapu Koko is a good answer for Gyarados, but I need a better one. Like in case I in case I'm I need to switch in on one. Uh, I need a better build on my Nine Tails. Maybe I need a Snow Warning Nine Tails. I don't know. I need some suggestions. I want to try out a new team for my next battle spot. But I'm glad we ended this on a high note with this team. The team redeemed itself. All right, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, subscribe, comment, give me tips and opinions. Like my page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, because when I do streaming, I do giveaways of 2 plus perfect IV Pokemon. And that'll do it, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot Ranked.